Okay, ladies and gentlemen, good morning to you. Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, coming to you from Beckley's Camping Center today. We're going to talk to you about the 2018 Tab 320. For more information on this camper or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by, you ask for Paul, the Air Force guy. But let's get on to this camper. So this Tab 320, this is 2008, this is my new camp, which is a Pleasant Valley Trailers. This is something that you're talking about, it's just 15 feet in overall length, weighs just about 1,800 pounds dry weight, and I'm going to have all the specifications and everything down below. Of course, as you can see, they come in many different colors. You can always tell if you're looking at, this is the Tab 320S, meaning it has the inside kitchen with the shower. And you can always tell if it's an inside kitchen because the molding along the edge here, if you see it, it's colored, then you know it's the inside kitchen. When you don't see that color molding around it, you know it's the outside kitchen or the CS as they would call it. Now what they do is they match the molding, they'll match this part here for where you're, this is where your propane bottle and your battery is going to uh, be located right up in this area and you also notice that they're going to have a 12 volt cutoff so you can cut off your battery. Now in the event that you have the solar panels on here by disconnecting the battery it will not disconnect the charging portion of that so if you have your solar panels on there and you have it uh, it will continue to charge your battery. It is hardwired to the battery. On your door side of course you're going to notice that light up top there. You're going to have as an option, you have the storage door that, uh, and this allows you to get up underneath of the dinette area, which gives you a lot of room under there. So you can get to it from here or you can get to it from the inside table. Then they also have for the table, the Laguna table, that you can go ahead and bring that and set it out here. Because when you put the bed down inside there, it actually has wood slats to actually make the bed. As you can see now, the Tab 320, you can see how it curves coming around the back here. Now, they do have a Boondock Edition, which is basically the replacement of what they called, used to call the Outback Edition, which will actually give this a lot more uh, uh, ground clearance, and it'll take the spare tire that is down here on this 320 back here, and it will move it up on a bike, uh, on a rack on the back section here. Now, if you were going to be having the solar panels, this is up in the back there. That is where you would have it. Of course, you can see on your off door side, you're going to have for the um, Aldi system for the uh, venting outside shower, which is going to be for both hot and cold water. The cool thing about the outside shower, ladies and gentlemen, is the fact that, as you can see here, you have unlimited height, unlimited width. That might be important to some of you. I don't know how the neighbors might feel about that, but uh, you do have that option. Of course, you can see the nice little window. That's an option for your shower. Up in the front here, of course, this is your antenna for the stereo. This is where you can con connect your cable or uh, you can get yourself a antenna for local TV. Here's where you would fill your fresh water tank and of course that is where your city water connection if you're going to be hooked up to uh, water. Now you'll notice that this has stabilizer jacks on all four corners and then of course this is some of the change they made which is awesome. This is going to be for your dumping of your sewer both the black and the gray, so the nice thing is now you have that gray water to rinse out your sewer hose, which is an, it was a great idea. You see the windows, you're able to open them, you can have them as a screen, you can have them uh, as privacy. And of course this is going to be for uh, behind your, um, your AC, behind it. And people, one thing you want to be careful with this is that when you're washing your camper, you want to make sure you're not spraying the water up in that area because that will come in the camper. I've seen some people that have devised a cover to put over that so when they're traveling, rain's not getting in there as well as if they're washing it. So let's go on the inside and take a look. So as you're going to be getting ready to go in the camper, one thing you're going to notice is that it does have the screen door and it tucks away very nicely. And of course the port window in the door, you can see, you can adjust that so you can see out where you have privacy. 
One thing I didn't point out was the fact that when they're constructing this, they do use the Asdale paneling for this, which is phenomenal. Uh, take a look, look up Asdale, and you'll see what I'm talking about. For more information on that, by all means, you can reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to explain that to you. As you come in, of course, you have different colors that you get for the interior. Like I say, I'll be listing the specs on this particular one. You can see the table that is in there. Now that has, the, the cool thing is, the old tables you used to have were kind of bulky and they kind of got in the way. Now you're able to adjust this table up and down. You can swivel it, but then you can also take it, take that table, put it outside here. And for those of you that wish to go ahead and just make this a bed, like I say, they have the wood slats that go in between here that make the bed. And those are stored down under here along with the uh, cord access to that of course below the bed or the sofa area here this is where you're going to have your breakers and fuses 110 outlet as well as your carbon monoxide and your lp leak detector that is all down there gfi outlet your kitchen area as you're looking over here of course you're going to have your three-way refrigerator which is nice so you're able to use that on propane on battery or on 110 which makes it very helpful recommendation for boondocking is to put it on propane and of course you can see that's where you'll check your your levels right up there your battery uh, fresh gray or black you've got your sink as well as you have your two burner cooktop right here And I had mentioned to you about, so the window, you see we have the, sh the screen down so you can see out, but if you want the privacy, you just pull that up, and now you've got privacy. So you're able to do it both ways. Of course, right up on top here, this is going to be your AM, FM, CD stereo with a DVD player. It's Bluetooth capable as well. Now you'll say for DVD, so that'll go to your TV, which is right over here. The TV is on a swivel. And then right, about, uh, right above that, that is going to be your Aldi system. The Aldi system is going to be taking care of your furnace as well as taking care of your uh, water heater. So that takes care of all that right there. Of course, your shower coming around here. You have a shower. Now, we do have a light inside the shower. So if you would like to be able to see, you can do that. Plenty of room in there. Now, of course, you can see the toilet paper is kept dry there. You can get this with a sink that they put in here, and it does also have a little mirror for those of you that need that. And, of course, you can see that little port window. And, again, for privacy, you can go ahead and close it if you want to look out. The little door back here behind here, this is where you're going to be going ahead and getting to your water pump. So that's accessible there. It's right there. Now, let me show you a couple things dealing with your, with the sofa here. Okay, so now I have some folks that are using this. They're they're single. It's just themselves. And what they like about the inside kitchen is that they're able to keep the dinette booth in the up position. Use this area for the, for that. But then they're able to put this down in the back to make their bed. Let me show you what they do. So you're going to remove both cushions so one on both sides just set those out of the way and then this will just pull forward it'll unlock and it lays back down now you're able to lay across if you know you're short enough obviously what this is going to give you on the back end you're going to have a charging center on the uh, over there and you also have 110 outlets back behind me here i don't know if you can see that now this gives you a little shelf back here as well as your storage back underneath it is for you and then, of course you have access to your cabinets you see you have plenty of room to get, you know, storage inside here. Then you have, of course, the reading lights back behind you. And these things do, they rotate if you wish. You can put them up, you can put them down, whatever works for you. And as you can see, this table, so what you're able to do is you're able to rot move it up and down. You're able to, you know, slide it back and forth this way. And then it also pivots this way. So, you know, if you're, you're having dinner with somebody, somebody's on that side, you want to try what they have, just turn the table around. It makes it easy. You don't have to pass plates anymore makes it very very simple there for you so of course you, the AC system that was in here is just like a regular house window type AC the beautiful thing about that is if you're out boondocking and you're gonna bring a generator you don't need to get a huge generator it's only pulling six amps 
So that helps you out. Um, you're going to have a power vent fan in the ceiling. The benefit there is you can open the windows, turn that on, you can either, either have the wind pulling in from the windows or you can have the wind, the air coming in from the roof. If in fact you want to be able to use that in the rain, they do have a cover that will fit on the top there. If you don't have the roof rack system, you're able to do that. So this is the Tab 320S. For more information on this camper, or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center, you ask for Paul the Air Force guy. If there's a particular product, a particular topic, or even an aftermarket product that you'd like me to review, by all means just reach out to me. All my information, as well as the specs and pricing for this unit will be down below. Check out my vlogs on Sunday evenings, how-to videos, as well as product recommendations on my channel. Appreciate you watching, and we'll be coming back at you again soon. Take care.